In this video, we're going to be talking about the pipeline in training a new orca or porpoise pilot, the skills that are important, and everything that kind of goes into making a really good, efficient, max level orca, porpoise, command, mining command burst, alt. There are several um, different skills that go into it. I would say that if you've ever trained a max hulk or a max exhumer pilot, you're probably looking about the same amount of skill points involved. It's a little bit, uh, I think it might be a little bit more now with compression and all that. But really, when you decide to have like a, a mining burst all just kind of dedicate a tune for that. And then later down the road, you can actually train that tune into being an also a maxed mining barge or a max exhumer pilot for uh, situational purposes. So the tune you're looking at here is my command alt. It has everything that requ is required to make it uh, really efficient at uh, performing that role. So I'm going to go over everything that is required here. Um, one of the big important things that is important for any command alt is being able to use the mining form and mine link. This requires Cybernetics 5 and all the other stuff that you're already going to be training in for the Orca or the Porpoise. This gives you a 25 bonus to the Mining Form and Burst Effect Strength and Duration. So this would you could technically do this last after you're already in the Porpoise or the Orca, but I usually train Cybernetics on new alts anyway, so it's uh, something to keep in mind. Now the other skills that are going to be required here are going to be things like your industrial command ship let's open this up a little bit so you can guys see what this character's already got going on so your industrial command ship is needs to be at level five that's what's going to scale all of the ship bonuses and everything the other thing you want to have in resource processing you want the shipboard compression technology up to the point where it ha allows you to use the compressor for the type of rock or asteroid that should be mining. The higher this skill is, the bigger you can get. So if you're doing like a Rorkel, um, you're gonna need like, uh, like Rorkel moon mining, you're gonna need like level five of this, right? So just keep, you don't have to train this all the way up, but if you're only gonna do high sec um, or then just train this to the level that allows you to run the com uh, compressor for that. The next thing you're gonna want is industrial reconfiguration you're gonna have to have this anyway to run the uh industrial core but i try to max this out because this will also reduce the amount of heavy water that's used per cycle so that allows your uh, margins of your profit margins to be a little bit better as well and almost all of my command alts are also processing alts so i always you know give them all the reprocessing stuff and all the other skills that they can break down or it gives them just like another purpose because at the end of a mining op they're already going to be in possession most likely of all of the compressed ore so if they can just immediately compress it or uh, refine it it makes a lot of sense the, uh, my command alts also usually become my manufacturing alts as well other than that, you have your shield skills you want. You want to make sure your tank is really good. The other really big important thing for command ships is going to be your navigation. You want um, max evasive maneuvering in navigation because orcas will already move really slow. So navigation allows you to move a little faster, sub warp. And then evasive maneuvering should be level 5, regardless of what your character's uh, role is in the game, which allows for faster uh, alignment and things like that and then also hull upgrades and mechanic upgrades a lot of this stuff it fits into the magic 14 category um and what is what i consider prerequisites for any type of role um like this so just keep all that in mind as well the next big one is going to be under fleet support a lot of this stuff is going to be required um just to even operate the orca or porpoise so mining form and burst mining director leadership getting command burst uh to five as well and the other thing too is if you go all the way to shield command five or shield command specialist five you'll be able to use the ore mine link the difference between the regular mine link and the ore mine link is the regular one gives you 25 percent uh, strength and duration for mining foreman the ore will give you 25 and 25 of both mining format and shield so um, if you're not running if you're not running uh, any shield uh, burst which usually i do i usually run like two of the mining foreman bursts um, and then I run one of the shield bursts, so that can help as well. But for the purpose of this video, this character is going to be running um, a an Orca fit that has just three mining form bursts on it. 
you don't need to run all three mining form and burst because if you're not using barges or exhumers that have crystals then you don't need this uh, equipment preservation charge so if you're running like ore strip miners or strip miner or strip miner ones you can drop one of these you can drop one of those uh mining form and burst and actually add a uh, shield uh, uh command burst which uh let's see shield cover command burst too and then nor normally i would go with like extension or harmonizing harmonizing is going to be kind of like it's going to operate kind of like a hardener it's going to give you resistances extension is going to work a little bit like a shield extender which gives you buffer so you pick whichever one of those is usually better um, i usually go harmonizing uh, because uh, my ships already have a pretty decent buffer tank but that's just uh you know something you got to work out yourself if you plan on ever drone mining with any of the command ships you will want to invest in drone rigging which reduces the cpu penalty for those rigs otherwise a lot of fits you'll see online won't work the other thing you're going to want is your targeting stuff so target management and long range targeting drones are going to be your uh your first line of offense now the locking speed of the orca is really really slow so most of the time your exhumers or your barges are going to take care of rats but uh, having the drone skills to run things like uh, salvage drones or even mining uh, drones is nice as well now i want to talk about actual skill tracking you know and how the pipeline for a new alt um, and how i kind of get them into uh, uh one of these one of these command ships i don't use skill plans um, instead, I do kind of like what I've been doing for many, many years now, and I just save the fit to the corporation that I want an alt to run. This it works like a, a training book, as it were. If your alts are not in their own corporation, you can just give them uh, or save on them the fits that you want them to run. But in my situation, I can just save everything to the corporation. I don't have to worry about them having any personal fits or whatever. So, for instance, like this orca you can see that this worker is fully trained on this alt so this one's saved to the corporation um and i'm gonna go over here to this new alt and kind of simulate how i would uh queue up the the orca on this guy and kind of see what this tune is missing so i go in here i go to the fits under the corporation and i just pull up that same that same fit there and then up here it's going to show me everything skill wise that this tune is missing and what i need to buy books for and whatever I always prioritize uh, training the prerequisite, the skills that I already own, over buying the skill books right away. That is just kind of a habit of mine. If um, if my plans change or another alt needs to be the command alt, I'm not kind of committed because I've already bought books. So, for instance, if this tune was going to eventually become an orca pilot, I would just hit add to queue. It would add all these um, skills that I already have books for. Once those are all trained, then I'll start actually working down this list buying a few books at a time the first books i would be buying honestly would be leadership um industrial reconfiguration your uh, industrial command ships things like that anything like that's drone or tank related i usually save to like you know last i want to be able to actually get the the ship prerequisites and the ship skills done first so that'd be like your mining foreman your mining director your ore hauler stuff like that with the salvage drone operation I could probably wait till the very end or like cloaking you, most people are not going to run a cloak on their orca so that can wait till the very end and stuff like that you can also kind of take this um fit which is already saved and you can kind of strip it down to what you want to focus on right now so let's say you don't want to focus on uh salvage drones right now so remove that you don't want to focus on medium drones so remove those let's say you don't want to focus on cloaking remove that what you're left with is the burst itself, the industrial core, the uh, compressor, all the tank, and the burst and everything. So then you go look at that list again. It's a little shorter. This is going to give you a better idea of like you know how to kind of work down this list. And then you know as these skills get trained, you just keep buying the books and keep loading up. I don't. I wouldn't say there's probably no point in actually going over 30 days unless you're going to put this tune like on mothballs for a while um, and come back to it in like six months, <laughs> which you know I've been known to do. Um, there's no real reason to buy every single book and put it all in the queue all at once because chances are if you're using this tune for anything else you might have a situation where you might have to throw another skill or something for another activity on top but that's how I kind of manage 
um, and quickly you know add uh, tr skills to a training queue for a new alt. The most important thing about an orca and a porpoise pilot is going to be those command bursts, that strength, that range, all that stuff. So even even though this tune right here is maxed out on the actual burst strength and duration because of the implant and all that, there are still ba ways for it to get better. So that would be like your fleet command. Your fleet command is going to increase the area of effect for the burst as well. And then the shield command specialist, when I get up to five, I can throw on the orc uh, mind link, which gives me 25 foreman and 25 uh, shield burst strength and duration. And then things like uh, wing command is another um, area of effect range. So, if, especially if you're in null and you're operating in a corporation with a bunch of other people, if you want to just make your life easier, getting your area of effect of your burst the biggest it can possibly be just makes everybody's life easier. But it's always a, something that I train absolutely last. Um, and you'd be that would be your fleet command and your uh, wing command. So keep that in mind. You can get that out to like 80 80 kilometers so you can sit off grid and everybody's still in range of your compression and stuff like that with your uh, industrial core on so you really it just depends on how you want to operate it the other thing i always do is um after my command alt is kind of my processor alt and everything like that i do usually train them into mining barge and exhumer i do usually make them max miners as well because if you are in a corporation that has multiple people that can run orca or porpoise and let's say you log in and someone's already mining with burst on you then have the option to put your command alt in a barge or exhumer and go out there and get a little bit more ore and compress and stuff and then if that player ends up you know getting offline or you know quitting mining for the day you go take that tune you switch it over to your porpoise your orca and you keep the burst going right that gives you utility and that's a lot of what you're seeking here when you're putting together a command a mining command alt is you want utility you want efficiency you want um ease of use and stuff like that so um if you d I try to make your alts usable in almost any situation so having a strict command alt is probably not the best thing because you know if there's already burst on field um they don't stack if your command alt is not a max uh, trained miner then it's really kind of useless right um which you don't ever want you want to kind of like keep everybody on field and have them be able to do something either that or like that tune can run like a hauler or something like a miasmos or like just you know go around pick up uh or run like a bus star that has a fleet hanger go run around all, all your other alts and you know pick up all their compressed or do something right but the easiest way to uh, just utilize those command alts in situations like that is just make them miners as well but that's pretty much it knowing what skills are important and kind of like how to progress in going from a fresh alt to a max orca is the important thing it's all about time right you just need to know what skills to train and then you know queue them up and let them let them take it down so hope you enjoyed the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next one peace out